can see, I've got a frame for a traditional um, style kayak here. These kayaks were, this style of construction was used in um, Alaska um, all the way through to Siberia and um, they were used for many thousands of years um, and coated with skin. You can see these kayaks are very light and extremely durable. Um, this one here weighs 24 pounds and is so strong that I could jump on it and jump off without any trouble. Um, these are probably some of the most seaworthy kayaks out there. They're much stronger than fiberglass kayaks. Um, and I put my life in them all the time. Um, we also build, um, we'll be building traditional paddles and learning to use them as well. Um, these paddles will save a lot of wear and tear on your back, so they're a lot healthier for your shoulders. Um, and these really, even, with, even if you start with no woodworking skills, these boats can be built um, really well, and you'll learn a lot in the process. These are um, ocean-going sea kayaks, and uh, they're extremely seaworthy. Um, I've taken uh, one of these boats on a 30-day trip out to Vancouver Island, and so they can take uh, 30 days worth of food and capacity um, for all your gear and all that kind of stuff. Um, so wherever, whatever it is you might want to do with your kayak, these are certainly capable of it. Um, in the process, we will learn to bend ribs, such as these right here, through steam bending. Um, we'll learn complicated joints like this um, mortise and tenon joint right here um, and we'll lash things together. There's no metal anywhere in this boat. The boat is entirely joint pegged and lashed together so um, it's uh, amazing how much uh, an old style of construction is still uh, comparable to all the magnificent materials and things that we have today. Um, the boats that we'll be building will be coated and skinned with uh, uh, nylon um, the special kind of nylon that was once used in bu uh, bulletproof vests, but today um, we use it on our boats, and it's a really amazing lightweight material, so these boats can withstand a lot.